Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technology. Do you know that developers spend around 30 to 40% of their time just writing the code? Imagine what could be achieved if there were a tool to reduce this time allowing them to enhance their creativity and put extra effort into creating something new. Well. That's exactly what AutoCode Generation Tools do. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you about an amazing AI code generation tool called FaveTutor's AI Assistant. The FaveTutor AI Assistant provides three main features as its AI tools called the Code Generator, the Code Debugger, and Code Converter. The Code Generator of the AI Assistant is able to write complete programs with the help of GPT 3.5 online. Let's see how you can actually use the code generator and other features of the Fave Tutor in order to help you in coding. So firstly, I'm going to test the code generator for which I'm going to prompt it to create a streamlet app using Python that takes a prompt as input from the user and upon the button click, it generates a response using OpenAI and displays it. Hit enter and in just a matter of few seconds, you will see that it will generate the response for you. You can see that firstly it is setting the API key then inside the main function it is creating a text area for entering the prompt then we have a button that if the button is clicked and if the prompt is not empty then it is using the text DaVinci engine of the OpenAI and is generating the response and displaying it. So it is generated the exact code which we asked it to generate and it is also provided us that we have the necessary dependencies involved and we have to replace the OpenAI API key in the place where it says your API key and it has also provided us some other suggestions as well. Next, I'm going to prompt it to create a calculator application. So I'm going to say create a calculator app using HTML, CSS, JavaScript that performs all operations. Okay, so once the prompt is written, now simply run it and wait for it to generate the response. So here is the code for the calculator. It has used the inline styling to add the CSS code inside the HTML file. Here is all the formatting for the code. These are all the functions that will be called and this is the entire code. So let's quickly go ahead and test it. But you can see that the code is not complete. Here we have only up till the number two and all of the symbols are also not present here. So I've placed all of this code inside an HTML file and I've opened it inside a new browser. So here is how the calculator looks like. You can see that not all the buttons are present on si inside the calculator and if I click on any of it, then it is also not showing anything on the screen. So maybe it is any glitch of the tool that it is unable to generate the entire code, but the code it has generated up till here is correct. Then in order to test it again, I am going to provide it another prompt. I am going to say create a function that calculates the factorial of a number and creates test cases for it. So for the language, I am going to pass Python here. Hit enter and the response will be generated in a few seconds. Now if I scroll up, you can see that firstly it has provided us the function that calculates the factorial of a number. And then inside another box, it has provided us some test cases for the factorial function. So we have another function called test factorial in which it is using the assert to test the functions for different use cases. We have a factorial for zero. We have the test case for a factorial of positive number in which we are passing five and 10. Then we have a factorial of negative number that should raise an error. So we have passed negative five here. So this shows that it is able to generate the code that involves user interface as well as the code that does not involve user interface and involves test cases. So the next thing is the code converter. So I'm going to copy this function right here which is in Python that calculates the factorial of the number. Then after that I'm going to go to the code converter here. My code is in Python and I want it to be in C++. So after selecting the required languages, simply click on this convert button right here. Alright, so here in the second box, we have the code for calculating the factorial of a number converted to C++. So you can see that it has successfully converted our Python code into C++ and it has also created 
the main for it. And it is also provided as a note that in C++ we use throw and catch for exception instead of raise and accept. So it is used try and catch in order to have exception handling. So that's a really cool feature that you can provide it code in any of the programming languages and it will convert the code into any language that you want. So if I click on this drop down menu, you can see that here is a variety of different languages in which you can place your source code and you also have a variety of different languages in order to convert it into a different language. Now let's go ahead and test the code debugger feature provided by the Fave Tutor. Here firstly you have to provide what you are trying to develop. So I'm gonna say a C++ code that finds whether a string is palindrome or not and then inside the second box you have to paste your code. So I have pasted the code in the C++ language and here in the code I have changed two conditions. Firstly inside the while statement there was i less than j and I have changed it to i greater than j. And then inside the while loop there was i++ and j++ and I have changed the j++ to be simply j. Now let's go ahead and run this and see if it is able to debug our code and find the errors in our code. And in just two seconds, it has generated the output. So it has provided us the correct code here. You can see that it has changed the condition from i greater than j to i less than j. And for simply j to j minus minus. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see that it has also highlighted the mistakes for us. So instead of just changing the code, which some people might not be able to understand that what was the mistake in our code. So in addition to providing the correct code, it has also highlighted the mistakes. So here it says in the while loop condition, it should be i less than j instead of i greater than j. This will ensure that the loop runs until i is less than j. Then the second mistake was that inside the while loop, you need to decrement j using j++ instead of j. With these corrections, your code should work fine to check whether a string is palindrome or not. So you can see that in just a matter of few seconds, it has successfully identified the mistakes in our code and has resolved those errors and also highlighted the mistakes which are present inside the code. So these three which are the code generator, code debugger and code converter were the free features provided by the Fave Tutor with a limited number of free credits. So if you want to test the data analysis feature you simply have to click on this tab then firstly you have to upload your file from your browser and once the file is uploaded then you can simply ask it any questions from here and it will ask those questions from your data set and it can also generate different types of diagrams and charts and visualizations for your data set. So in this way you can easily use Fave Tutor's AI code assistant to generate the precise code with the code generator feature troubleshoot your code with ease using the code debugger feature and then seamlessly convert code between different languages using the code converter feature of the fave tutor that's all for this video thanks for watching